Nice one off that session. Couple of little ones and now a nice 78 off that same sandbar. That's sick, I'm bloody stoked. All right, we'll let him go. Okay, so traveling around with the family in the motorhome and uh, yeah, she, we've got to Karamba in North Queensland to go under the NT and it's flooded so we can't go any further. So I just plonk the boat in, um, go for a fish here. Never been here before, know nothing about the joint. Um, it's March, there's a heap of fresh water running off through the floods obviously, so hopefully get onto a couple of barra. Don't know how I'm gonna fish it. Just drive around up the rivers, I suppose, and use the sounder to look. Um, yeah, beautiful spot, have a look. Got the boat down on the jetty there. Prom fleet down there. Commercial netter boats all there. Awesome joint fishing town. Oh well. Let's go, get into a couple. Okay, so just sounding up this, uh, collapsed wood here it's in the middle of the river I'm not totally 100% sure but this right up in against the bank getting these uh, white marks could be fish particularly them uh, so I might just chuck a vibe in there even though it's all dead wood so it's dangerous but and uh, see how that goes have a go at it anyway so I'm just gonna have got this little Samaki vibe Bit outrageous colour, orange bottom and pink head and that, but the water's dirty so bright doesn't hurt. 20 gram vibe. I'll chuck it in there and um, see how it goes. Probably lose it in that timber because it's pretty thick, but I want it to be able to sink pretty quickish, so that's why I'm using a vibe. So, just see that dead wood there. Uh, I can see it here on the sounder. They look like a heap of fish, them shadows to me. And then look out to the left. That's gotta be fish too, eh? Look at it. Okay, we're gonna have a go at that. They look like they're all pretty hard to the bottom. So, like usual, when fish are hard to the bottom, I'll uh, vibe it. It's usually the best way that I find anyway. So uh, let's have a go at that. See how we go. See, look at this. There could be a heap in here too. Off that point, it's all this stuff. So, all right, let's have a go at that. Looks pretty good to me.
parcel about. What's wrong with him? Just lift him on. Yeah, nice. Nice fish. First cast. How's that? That's sick. Really happy with that. Get the hooks out. Got him on the smarky vibe. First cast. Pumped with that. Nice little barra. First cast. Found like a bit of a sandbank with the tide pumping in. And um, on the sounder, they're all just stacked there feeding. So I'll show you the sandbank in a bit. I'll just let him go. There he goes. So yeah, I just sounded this big sandbank. As you can see, the tide's just ripping over there. And they're stacked at this front edge. Just sitting there feeding by the looks of it, waiting for food to go by right on the sand. So first cast of the vibe in and boom, got eaten. So see if we can make it happen again. Okay, first cast on the little smarky vibe. Got the bite on that sandbank there, so see if there's more there. There was a heap stack there, but hopefully they didn't spook when I um, caught that one. Straight onto another one on that sandbar. Oh, that's sick. Looks like it swallowed the vibe deep. Yeah, he swallowed it completely. How good's Karamba? Man, this is sick. Another one on the smarky vibe in a couple of casts. Let him go get go again. That second fish on this uh, vibe mega chafed up the lead because he ate it deep. So I'll snip him off. Go again. They're only small fish, so I still go with standard hooks. Always tie a loop knot, I do, with vibe. See if we can get another one on it. Yep. Oh, that's a better one. Nice one off this sandbar. Right up there on the pressure face edge, he is. 
or was when I got the bite. Nice to get a look at him, he's pulled a lot harder than them other two. Yeah, he's a nicer fish, a lot nicer fish. Stoked with that. How cool is that fish? Nice one off that session. Couple of little ones and now a nice 78 off that same sandbar. That's sick, I'm bloody stoked. All right, we'll let him go. Dropped on. Very next cast after that 78. Oh, on. Oh, yes. This is absolutely sick. What a session. Nice little one. Unhook him, get another one while well, tide's still coming in. That's four. Nice little one. Same back. Oh, that's sick. Yes. Well, got four on this vibe in about seven or eight casts now. Second time I have to chop the leader. Now that hooks are a little bent out, but see how we go. 78's my best off here. Gives me a bit of faith. Could be better. What an insane session. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this little one, onto a tiny one. Onto a little tiny one this time. That's five for the session. Yep, on to number six, another little one. That's sick. Yeah, 
that is sick. Number six on the bar on the smarky bar. Oh, how's that? That's sick. Number six. Well, that's number six. Stoked to that. Let's keep catching them while it's while it's on. Got him. He's like on me, come at me. Oh, that's sick. Love that. Not what about? Oh mate, so long, another one. Oh, yep. Oh, I dropped him. Bob's all tangled. There we go. So over there in that real still water on the front face of that um, sandbar, let's have another go over there. Another real little one. Keep leaving the pliers up the front, need them down there. That's sick. Cannot get enough of these fish. Look at that. How can you not love catching these things? Chug him back and go again. Okay, we're gonna try this reddick now, see if we can get a couple on that. We got heap on the vibe. It's a little one meter. Feel like a gold bomber, but obviously it's white, but same sort of style. Try and crank that across the top. See how we go. That's 
so sick. Perfect. Got rid of him just like that. Popped him off. Just jerked on the leader. Yep. Oh, another little one in there. On the reddick again. That's sick. Perfect release. Uh, let's see if we can get one very next cast. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Just dropped two after letting that one go. Go again. See how we go. Got him. Oh. oh, that's a better size one too. Yeah, that's a nice fish. at him he's a bit big to be lifting up by the leader well now they're all over this white one meter reddick or 80 centimeter deep reddick I think I just eat anything at the moment while they're like this absolutely sick let me get one this car Like a fish of cast now. Another little one. Oh, off he goes. Perfect release. So I like them at the moment. Hooks are a bit bent out. They only like gauge them hooks. Look at that. But um, good fun. Know what will happen? I'll just straighten them up instead of putting good ones on there and end up hooking a giant. And how good is Karamba? This joint is that good. There we go. Yep. Got another one. Just going fish cast after cast. Oh, the tiny one. Hopefully I can shake this one up with the boat too. Oh, real small one, this one. Look at that, he's only really small. Oh well. Get the hooks out of him and go again. See if I can get four and four casts on this reddick. That's sick. There we go. Yeah. Oh, 
dropped on. Ha <laughs> ha! Bound to happen. Oh, I dropped him. Two dropped in a row. What am I doing? Oh, three dropped in a row. How's that? Yeah, got him. Got that one that time. Oh, dropped him. Oh, a tiny, tiny one. There's that many fish in there. Crazy. one I think he pulled a bit yeah. that's a pallet spraying I didn't like him Another nicer one, eh? Came up the front. Well, there you have him. Another real nice one on the Reddick. Whew. Chuck him back. Yeah, baby. Another one on the Reddick. Man, I've had a session. I've got 20 or more. Oh, I might go look for somewhere else to fish. Save this one for the family tomorrow. What I'll do is I'll um, try and get some sounder footage so you can see what I've seen, how I found them. Okay. So as I come up the coast from Karamba, um, I was just driving past this sandbar here, that one there, and then as you can see on the sounder, all these little white dots, hundreds of them, and I was like, oh, 
that's got to be something, you know. So, see the little shadows? So, that, that's what made me fish it. Turned around, current edge just hitting straight on it there. And yeah, must have caught 20 fish off it now. So, how good's that? I'll um, go up coast a bit now and see if I can find another spot, rest this one and might bring the family back here tomorrow. Oh yeah. So yeah, as I come past this sandbar here, seen them all on the side imaging, they were sitting out the front on that pressure edge feeding as the tide pushes in. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll show you on the sounder now on the side imaging as I'm leaving it because I'm going to rest it for the family tomorrow. So all them shadows of fish, all them little white dots, you can see a fish just sitting in the sand whoops. And that's what I was fishing. They're just sitting in, sitting in those little sand whoops up in there out of the current feeding as that current pushes straight in onto their face. Pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. I must have caught 20 odd barra just then. Yeah, I'll rest it so that it's not too flogged for the missus and kids tomorrow. There's still fish coming through on the sounder, so hopefully it'll be a good session tomorrow for them. Well, that's a day. Left and bite them at that other spot. Don't know how many I caught. Um, probably take the missus and kids there tomorrow. Let's see how we go. See if we can get them onto a session like that. They'll love that. So it'll be good fun. I'll just hold the camera for them. Oh, well, see you tomorrow.